Hi everybody, it's Dylan here with Segway of Ontario, and today we're going to talk about how to lock your electric kick scooter. In the past couple of years, we've seen electric scooter theft rise significantly. And if you live in a big city, like myself, you know that bike theft and e-scooter theft is quite common. I myself have had two bikes stolen, one of which was stolen straight out of my parking garage, and I had a seat stolen from a third bike, which made for a very long and awkward ride home. Now, although the most effective method of locking your scooter is in fact bringing it inside with you and not leaving it outside at all, sometimes that isn't always practical. Maybe you're just running in to grab a quick coffee, or you're grabbing some groceries, or maybe you do food delivery on your electric scooter and you need to run inside to grab an order. Here are three quick and easy ways to lock your electric kick scooter. Number three, a physical lock. So I have three locks here in front of me. This first you might recognize. It's the nine bot passcode lock. What I like about this lock is that it is quite long and malleable, meaning it can fasten around any kind of bike stand or post. Just be careful with this style of lock that you wrap it around the post that you're using and your scooter a fair amount of times so that a thief would be unable to slip your scooter out from underneath the lock. I also like that you can mount this right onto your scooter handlebar and you can come up with a unique passcode. Try to come up with something a little bit more creative than 0000. Of course, we have the trusty old U-Lock. Uh, these are extremely popular, very easy to use, and you can lock your scooter up extremely quickly using this style of lock. So I do highly recommend using a U-Lock. Uh, you could even use a U-Lock in conjunction with one of these kind of wire locks, like the 9-Bot one. The more the merrier, honestly. If you're able to slow down the thief by a couple minutes, uh, it can make a huge difference. Finally, we have this style of lock. I've got one called the E-Took, uh, but if you can find one similar to this, I'm sure it works great. I really like this because it fastens right onto the stem of my scooter while I'm riding. It's very easy to slip out and lock. And one of the huge benefits of this style of lock is that it can pass through the front tire of the 9-Bot Max G30 or the rear tire of the 9-Bot E25A and E45. Unlike a bicycle, which has a quick release for the front tire, removing the front tire of the 9-Bot Max G30 can be extensive, so you're really gonna slow down a thief if you pass this through the front tire of your electric kick scooter. There are even some videos online of people trying to break these using bolt cutters or a saw to no avail, so that has inspired a lot of confidence in me using this style of lock. Number two, electronic locking. So you can electronically lock your 9-Bot electric kick scooter using the Segway 9-Bot app. The lock function is extremely easy to use. All you need to do is swipe down on the lock icon on the Segway 9-Bot app. By doing so, if a thief tries to steal your Segway 9-Bot scooter, an alarm will go off on the scooter, the throttle will stop working, the brakes will lock automatically, and you get a notification sent to your phone. Now, this won't prevent a thief from picking up your scooter and running away, but it will slow them down in the process and it will limit the functionality of the scooter. Of course, a major deterrent of this feature is your scooter needs to be powered on for the lock function to work, which isn't always practical if you plan on leaving your scooter for an extended period of time. The last thing you want is to have to leave your scooter powered on for an hour, two, three hours at a time, only to come out and have the battery drained. This function is more so useful if you plan on just stopping in very quickly somewhere, but should still always be used in conjunction with a physical lock. I would not trust this feature purely on its own. Number one, remote starter. A really cool accessory that I've started using on my 9-Bot Max is the remote starter from M4M. It comes in a little package just like this and it's super easy to install. Seriously, only takes about 60 seconds. All you really need to do is add this connector between your scooter stem and the handlebar. Then you can remotely lock and unlock your scooter with a single press of a button. 
No one can turn your scooter on without this remote starter. I'm a huge fan of this method of locking my electric kick scooter, even more so than the lock feature on the Segway 9Bot app because I don't need to leave my scooter powered on the entire time I'm away from it. But once again, this should still always be used in conjunction with a physical lock. None of these methods on their own should be relied upon solely. But once again, the most effective way of preventing theft of your electric kick scooter is to bring it inside, especially overnight. An electric kick scooter left unattended outdoors is always going to be a target for theft. It's always a good idea to record the serial number of your device in case it does get stolen. This at least is a jumping off point for the police or yourself if you're trying to recover it. I would also recommend installing some sort of GPS tracker onto your electric kick scooter, whether it's an Apple or Android AirTag. This can be an extremely effective method of recovering your electric kick scooter, especially within that first 24 hour window when it's stolen before the thief is able to locate the tracker. If you know of any other effective methods for locking your electric kick scooter, drop them in the comment box below. Let's help each other out and prevent theft of electric kick scooters. If you wanna check out any of the products that we've discussed today, I've included links down below in the description. If you'd like to test ride a Segway 9Bot scooter in Toronto, I've included a link down below to book a test ride in the stunning distillery district. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, and if you really liked it, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos, tips, tricks, and tutorials. For all of us here at Segway of Ontario, Stay safe out there, and we'll see you on the trails.